shit. Yes. Yes. Four. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the stage, you Spencer. Thank you. Come, Charlie Rhea Butcher. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank to, you, Dan. To uh, Cameron. Yes. Our friend Cameron Esposito. It is a real thing. I, 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 I I'm, uh, couldn't be a stronger supporter of gay marriage. I, uh, straight marriage, I... Me too. I just don't, I just don't think it works. I, 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 I think you guys take it more seriously. I, 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 I think we should just hand off the mantle. Just go like, <laughs> we'll take care of it for a while. Do. <laughs> Obviously, straight people have decided at some point that, 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 that like we get married like three times a lifetime minimum. Like, like, like it's like a it's like molting for us. Yeah. Like, it's like you have your 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 your. Uh, what are they, I don't know. They have expressions for it and stuff. Like the third wife is the l- lizard wife. I don't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know third what. Third wife, lizard wife. <laughs> I think that's what, what do you get? Paper that anniversary. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, well, the first time we we met, I think, was on this stage, and you uh, uh, we inadvertently found out. But it makes total sense uh, looking at you that you're like a huge Back to the Future fan. Yes. Uh, like, would you? Are you do, is it accurate to say that you were when you saw that? Like, when you pick the look you were like I want to look like Marty McFly a little bit yeah a little bit and a little bit of George uh, and a little bit of Biff you know just like a little bit <laughs> of each one and then Lorraine at heart you know and we both 1955 did. Lorraine at heart <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not original yeah. 1985 Lorraine at heart <laughs> no god no just, just uh, weird clay face just yeah, like exactly. Mummy John's uh, <laughs> yeah, performer right. they wanted to reach up and just tell a story <laughs> um the uh, uh, we, you, but we were both in San Francisco when you came back. You got you have a little story. Speaking, I of do which, have a story. So this a... morning I was in San Francisco International Airport, which is a very small airport, and I saw this woman in a pair of UGGs and then just like a general airport outfit, and she looked very familiar to me. And I was like, no way. And then I saw her walking around a little bit more. I was like, I don't know, maybe. And then I saw her again. I was like, no way. And we got on the same plane together. She had like a bunch of teenage kids with her too. And we got on the same plane. And then as I passed her, she like turned on on the seat to talk to somebody behind her. And I looked back and it was, in fact, Leah Thompson (laughs) on my flight. (laughs) And I was like, oh my God, it's your mother. And uh, Did you you talk to her? I did. I wasn't going to bother her because it was the plane and stuff. But then I went to the bathroom and was walking back and she was walking towards me and I was like, I'm really sorry, but I have to just tell you I'm a huge fan of yours. And I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. And she was very nice. She was like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, my name's Rhea. She's like, oh, so close. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. And it was that, perfect. It, it, that's the Japanese version of my name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh... I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a uh, fucking airport plane story as well. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Delta cock. Fruit and cheese plate. Cock marrying Delta. Uh, e- e- equal rights cock treating uh, Delta. Like I fucking like 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 we were. I I I would I would never fly Delta by choice. Uh, the, the the but it was like the, the festival booked the flight. Sure. So flying back. I am so sorry, but I have not flown coach since the first time I flew first class. I, I put it off. <laughs> I really, literally have not. I, 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 I um, except for maybe once to Las Vegas, like because it was like, a, 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 and, but, 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 like, so you, you know, I mean, oh, I fucking, oh. <laughs> They, 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 uh, again, with, always with the thing with the, uh, like, like, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I, we have a full flight. Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your full flight. Are you, are you going to be okay? 
<laughs> and every every fucking thing they say is once again. We rem- uh, just a reminder once again because it's a subtle fucking technique to infantilize you. They're always implying that you're a fucking idiot. Once again, once again, once again, once again, once again, folks. Once again, we do remind you we do have a full flight. <laughs> like, you're, what do you talk to me like a normal person? And what will be revealed is that you're shitty business. Like, 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 <laughs> stop, stop, stop talking to me like you're a, a teacher, you know, and that I haven't learned something about your fucking full flight yet. <laughs> And, uh, and, and, and then I go to my seat, it says, it says 6A, and it's in fucking coach. And I'm like, well, maybe their definition of a full flight leaves a seat open next to me. Maybe they're doing one of those things where they, they've, I, I, I'm like, and then this guy plops down next to me, and I'm like, what the fuck? And, he, and he's like, who's this guy? And then I, I was like, I, I guess, was it, maybe it was because I texted Steve just to make him feel bad, uh, who was on the plane. I was like, you're fired. Uh, actually, I said, I said you're fired as he walked by. So I think maybe for that reason, did Steve, did you contact somebody on the, did you tell somebody that, that I was, okay, so that's what, so that, so then, so then the flight attendant comes by and says, uh, who's supposed to be in, in 1A? Because we had, when we bought, uh, he, had, he could have had a receipt, my boarding pass at 6A, but the receipt said 1A. Uh, I said, oh, me, I, uh, yeah, and, and, he, and, he, and he said, uh, 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 we apologize, sir, but uh, I'll pause it right there. That's not an apology. <laughs> <laughs> we have to stop doing that, especially corporations. They say, we, uh, we apologize, sir, but... Yeah, you uh, can't then, include sorry and but in the same sentence ever. <laughs> sorry, but it's your fault. <laughs> but it's all, I'm just saying, you can't, you can't narrate a theoretical apology. <laughs> You can't. You can't say, "Ria, I owe you an apology. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I spilled that 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 thing on you. I I, I owe you an apology." <laughs> well, fucking make cash it. Cash it. <laughs> yeah, Let's I'd cash like that to like do because, uh, uh, as my therapist told me, an, an apology is an, an acknowledgement of the offense, an expression of remorse, and a commitment to change. <laughs> And without all three of those ingredients, it's not an apology. I'll take one Delta, one of those. <laughs> I, uh, we apologize, but sometimes we downgrade the aircraft, and then sometimes when we do that, sometimes this happens. That was his apology. That was his addressing of it. And, 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 oh, and then he said, I, and, and, and if we had caught it on time, we could have done something. And I said, what, I don't, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what, I'm so, well, when we downgrade the craft, um, sometimes this happens, and, and then when we, sometimes this happens. I said, I heard you, the far, what, 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 <laughs> but if we had caught it in time, what does that mean? What caught it, it in time? Sounds like you have it, a disease. Yeah, it I, sounds like cancer. <laughs> I think so, you so, have who, Delta cancer. Who's, who's the we? I forgot there was people over here, sorry. I'll, I'll do the show like this for a little bit. Um, who, who is the we that's supposed to catch it in time? Is it, am, I, am I responsible for this? Oh, no, 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 sir, no. Uh, we apologize, but sometimes we downgrade the fight. He just kept repeating himself. And, and I was like, but what, what would you have done if you caught it on time? He's like, I'll offer you miles. <laughs> and he said, Delta miles? <laughs> do I look like a... Like a guy to whom those are worth things, like oh Delta Miles, my favorite. They're, 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 like like I'm like, like I'm cuckoo for Delta Miles. Uh, I'm I'm Delta rich. I get honey. I don't have any money, but I have the equivalent of money in opportunities to interact with Delta. A million Delta hours are coming. And, and I was just but the thing is the guy is standing. He knows what he's doing. Like that's the other thing. If you ever have a complaint in, on an airline, like they, they, they fucking like they have all the control because I can't sit in coach going, uh, I'm too rich to be sitting next to everyone with an earshot of me. <laughs> um, and there's been some kind of mistake. Like I can't do it. I, I was, I was like, and he's just like he's projecting his answers to me in a way, and I'm trying to like murmur and go like, oh, the thing is, I'm too rich to be. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and his answers else. are like, I'm sorry, sir. But, or, or, no, I'm sorry. He never said I'm fucking sorry. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> yeah. stop. We apologize, sir. But one of the things, the, uh, the guitar sounds like everyone's story is just going to be, oh, there's some prick up there that must be com- that doesn't understand downgrading very well and, and keeps demanding things. And, I, just, and, and, then, and then it's just next because then the pilot's a big fan of community and uh, <laughs> takes a selfie with me on the way out. And it was like, uh, the flight attendants are like, six seasons in a movie. And I'm like, you fucking, fucking suck. You fucking suck. 
Six seasons and some miles. Six six thousand <laughs> miles. Of the, I don't want your miles. I want my I want my money back. Give me your money back. You know why that plane was downgraded? You know you know it was because it was not full enough. You and that's fucking like I can't stand that shit. They so they don't they don't give you your they, they don't they don't they, if you book an airplane airplane ticket. God damn it! If you book an airplane ticket and, and you don't show up, they keep your money. So why do they consider it a fucking crisis to have an empty seat on their plane? It's not like they're not losing money. You could fly. If everybody didn't show up, fly the fucking empty plane over the ocean and, and, and fucking keep your fucking money, you fucking cartel, you fucking, fucking horrible, horrible, horrible companies. And it's just, like, it's just like, like they do everything they can to murder you by taking you up in a metal tube that should not be able to stay in the air. There's monsters on the wings. <laughs> they keep denying it. Anyways, congratulations on your marriage. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, I don't, I don't know why my straight marriage didn't work. I, 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 I'm, I'm a delightful person to be around and travel with. <laughs> don't know why my wife would have left me. <laughs> but I have a feeling she's probably in the arms of a woman right now. Uh, if she's smart. Um, the, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so fuck Pixar. Uh, I have a hair. <laughs> Just because the Golden Globes were tonight and Anomalisa, my movie that I executive produced. <laughs> Thank you. I did a hell of a job. I executive produced the fuck out of that movie. Uh, it lost to, uh, 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 you know, uh, M&M's in your head or whatever. <laughs> The, 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 the memory islands, but also memory marbles. Pick a lane. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are the islands made of marbles? Are they powered by them? And, uh, yeah. Bing, Bing Bong felt a little lazy. <laughs> felt, felt, first thought, best thought, I guess, on Bing Bong. Uh, <laughs> home by five. I'm just being bitter. I'm sorry. Of course, we all love Pixar movies. It's just tonight's not a very good night to, to love them. I don't know why everyone had to love them that much. They're doing fine. <laughs> fucking made a, we, made a, we made a fucking movie about the futility of monogamy in a, in a garage with Charlie Kaufman. <laughs> Can't have a Golden Globe? <laughs> I don't know why your applause for front, front row. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just getting the vodka off their hands and it keeps flying off my... It's, it's a really bad night for you guys. I, I haven't trimmed my beard and, and it's like really like like wicking and like and then there's just droplets are flying. So I'm really sorry. I just pretend you're at SeaWorld. And... <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, so I want... like. So last night that that episode hasn't aired yet, but we had a we had a, a young lady who had just and I mean just gotten done with a double mastectomy come up on, on stage. She wanted to uh, talk about it, and all I, I like all I know is I mean she and she's like she's had done chemos. She was you know she's and she's like still on the stuff like like she was like fresh off of the uh, process and was like. Um, <clears throat> Just sharing her story, and all I know as a guy is like I only know like oh it's so important that that that, that women talk about this. I, I I totally know that, so that's why I was so excited. But I had no idea what to ask her. It was the worst. Like I don't know if I did a good job or a bad job because she was like like had just gotten done being sick and it wasn't about me, so I couldn't be like, am I doing a good job? <laughs> But I think I did anyway, and I was like, "Am I supposed to be doing this different?" It was like, I, whoa, 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 "What's your relationship with your boobs?" Before the, 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 I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm fucking everything up. And I tweeted at her like, "Like, like, how was, how did that go for you the next day?" And I, I don't think she, I don't think she responded. And I don't, I don't, I may, I may, I may have done it wrong, or maybe uh, she, it doesn't revolve around you. And she needed sleep, Dan. She just got done with a fucking operation. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. I, 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 is there a connection? Uh, you, you must have more friends than I do that have been through uh, 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 breast cancer. I know. don't, actually. Really? No. I mean, you're going to tell me you don't hang out with Tig Notaro all the time? <laughs> well, she did drive me here. But... <laughs> it's by the lesbian shuttle service? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very there, convenient. There's got to be a great. Uh, there's got to be a great app name for that. Uh, Homobile. 
That's not. No, that's not mine. That's a real yeah. thing that exists. Uh, yeah, homo-mobile? yeah, yeah. Homobile. It's like a. It's like a ride sharing service for um, among other things. Yeah, prostitutes and um, drag queens uh, and people who specialize in body glitter and stuff. Oh a yeah. Lot, there's a lot of there's a lot of discrimination in taxi cab services. Oh, that makes sense. And they also don't like glitter and stuff. So yeah. a lot of. <laughs> And so, like, they really, they, they will apparently, you know, it's hard to get a cab when you're in drag, so. Is the, di- is the discrimination because of the glitter, or do you think it's, like, a cultural discrimination? I, I don't want that person you know, in my car. I bet there's 16 people for which it's just a practical concern, and everyone else, it's probably just, you know, uh, intolerance. But for, but for those people, there's a uh, f- f- phobomobile. <laughs> Well, okay. Yeah, they, no, they, can, did they can drive each other around. <laughs> <laughs> they just use glitter Twitter. <laughs> that um, was bad. It just rhymed. It wasn't a pun or anything. I just rhymed two words. But I guess I guess the answer is you don't have. To, there's nothing. You, there's nothing inappropriate. It's not. It wasn't my job. I was just like. It's just good. That it's good for more women to talk about it because totally. because the alternative is. I mean, we're. I think this era is kind of like. More past ending. It's not like 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 we get it now. Like like mm-hmm. women should talk about it because otherwise, like the the risk is like people not, uh, is what is like women being so ashamed that they don't check themselves or don't seek treatment or what or or, or just like like don't. I mean, I, I, is, do you? What is the risk of women not talk, talking about it? What, what's the ter- terrible thing that can happen? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> I think it's uh, women withering away in towers, you know, without anyone coming and talking to them. Because, uh, just uh, in our own tower by ourselves. Yeah, I don't know if it's falling apart. Like, like the thing that happens aging. is like, like, oh, I felt a lump, but I'm not going to tell anybody I'll because just... my breasts are my. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, that seems like a very 50s thing, but but uh, um, or if it was ever anything, we can just blame everything on the 50s. I don't know. I say blame Delta. <laughs> Or maybe it's a, maybe it's more for men's benefit. Maybe it's like like women need to talk about it because men sexualize and objectify women, and then it's like like we're we're like what, like we need to uh, like like the alternative would be men being like ew gross, like your your boobs got got the your boobs are in sick. Your, <laughs> your your boobs got a cold. Your boobs used to be sick, but now they're <laughs> sick. <laughs> That's a, according to according to her. She sounds like I, I don't know if this is a, 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 a lucky for her or if this is a, just the new. This is the advance of medicine or technology that that if if that that you can just that that you just basically end up with. I think like a nice pair of fake boobs, like yes. because they take them off and then they put in like they, like the bags and the. Mm-hmm. But somebody else told me I, I I had a friend who has a mother. Who went through this process? But maybe it was longer ago, and 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 she said, you know, they're just like they're like mannequin boobs, and I was like, boing. <laughs> Why were you like that? <laughs> so my penis became erect. Well, <laughs> so fast that it made a cartoon uh, diving board okay. uh, sound. <laughs> I miss mannequins in films. Oh, man. We just what? don't put mannequins in film and TV <laughs> as much as we used to in the 80s. Yeah. What about the film Mannequin? You like, you like that? I, I mean, I like that one. Yeah. In, in my top three mannequin-based films, <laughs> Mannequin is definitely in my top three. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Kim, but Kim Cattrall, right? Am I yeah, right? of course. I mean, yeah. It's my favorite thing about lesbians. So you, just, you can go. But there. also like Andrew McCarthy too, because he's Ew, like kind of a hot fag. lesbian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. God damn it! I want to talk about hot chicks with you. Uh, I know Andrew McCarthy is a hot chick. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> he's pretty. He was. A, I was a kid and I saw that movie and I was like, that guy's got a high voice. Like, 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 like he's, I'm, he's a leading man. Yeah. He's like, he's got. He's dreamy he's, lady. He's a, He's he's pretty dreamy. <laughs> um, and 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 you know, I'm sure every all this, uh, you know, Mayshack Taylor's performance is, is uh, still heralded as progressive by uh, <laughs> the gay community. I'm assuming. <laughs> Um, Everyone on Homobile, for sure. <laughs> Loves Mayshack Taylor's. 
that that must be that must be a I wonder if that that must be a serious bummer for actors who are like 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 because because like culture advances so quickly so like then you're like there's actors out there who are like oh I played like like gay guy number five mm-hmm. in this thing and then it's like 15 years later and it's like it must they must feel like like I mean I got conned I got <laughs> like like I was I was told that I was doing a great job and then and, and all this stuff and now I feel like I'm part of the problem and and then they. And then they then they go to the library and they just sit in the corner and they eat peanuts. <laughs> just loudly eat peanuts in the library. And then his his '80s style glasses break and he can't read any of the books in the library. Uh, his his 3D glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, I was I, asking you in the green room. You didn't you haven't seen the Back to the Future documentary that I was in. Not yet. Which, where they where they tricked me into saying Back to the Future two and three suck and then kept it in the documentary. <laughs> Fine. I, I was I, I was at an airport and I rode down an escalator next to one of the guys that shot that interview, and he was like, "Hey, it's me. I shot that thing." I was like, "Oh, hey." I was like, "You guys really kept that thing in there, huh?" <laughs> or and, and he's like, "Yeah, but you know what? It's 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 good. It's good. Yeah, and people like, like it. Yeah." And I was like, <laughs> I know, it was, it was a weird, yeah, I was like, like, you can't just make something true. I mean, I'm sure it's good, it's good for you guys to have a villain in your documentary. Because <laughs> I said in the thing, I, was like, I, said, I said, come on. I said, I said, you know, in two and three, eh, come on. And I was like, what, what? And I was like, eh, come on, don't make me say it. <laughs> what, just what? To make you say what? And I was like, oh, I, I know that you're shooting a documentary that Zemeckis and Gale are going to be in. They're my heroes. Don't make me say Back to the Future 2 and 3 sucked. And they put it in. <laughs> and they put it in right before a whole chapter of the documentary about how great Back to the Future 2 is. <laughs> so I'm, I, they knew what they were doing. People love to hate me. And I look great in it, too. I look, I, I look like fucking Bigfoot. <laughs> So not na- like now. Now you're like well groomed and handsome. I, I'm just I'm telling you, it was, a, it was a bad day. If you watch it, I look like I look like I look like Matt Greening like like walked into a fan. <laughs> I don't I don't know if the fan the the fan part's added so that Matt Greening doesn't doesn't get offended. Sure. <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't I don't know what what the effect of the fan is. <laughs> I just. <laughs> By the way, I'm not texting. I, I'm, no, I'm, I, I, I realize you're here, and I respect you. I'm just, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm looking at my notes. Do your thing. Um, okay, so oh, well, so the Golden Globes like highlights. Like uh, 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 the only thing I saw was uh, Denzel Washington got the Cecil B. DeMille Award, and he during his speech he said, he said I want. He got he started breaking up. Like he started to cr- cr- cry a little bit. I think br- right after he said this, so I'll, we'll never know what he was. What he meant, he said, "I want to thank my mother for convincing my father uh, to get higher than twenty-five watt bulbs." Yeah, because he thought if they were lower wattage, we could save money. And then he started crying, and then he yeah. and then he moved on. And then that, then he was like done. We that will never it. know. Like, it's like the, I, I was the I, biggest. I care more about that than what Ricky Gervais said to Mel Gibson that got bleeded. Bleed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Care. I, we, I, I, do you know what he said? He said, he said, he said what does sugar tits yeah. even mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I wasn't sure. I, mean, I thought maybe I had inside info because I was texting people sitting at the Golden Globes, <laughs> um, uh, and, and, which is why I know that Brad Pitt loves Anomalisa, and then he came and he was sit, sitting at the table with, uh, with, uh, with, our, with our guys. There was a chair available for him because Charlie left after we had lost. <laughs> I think I'm probably not supposed to say that. <laughs> I just think that's funny. That's a funny thing. Like, Brad Pitt's sitting here in Charlie's chair. Where's Charlie? He took off. He left. <laughs> Charlie's gone. <laughs> um, but but he, he likes an Amelisa. And that's cool because uh, he, he uses my beard in uh, the big short. <laughs> um uh yeah, the twenty five watt bulb thing. Oh, what well, my only theory was. Uh, oh, so like, did 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 his dad get like a really like his mom said you should get more than twenty five watt bulbs, and his dad was like, is this does this uh, satisfy you? And he got a big spotlight, <laughs> yeah. and then little Denzel stood in, and it was like, <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> It's showtime. I've st- I don't know if I have a Denzel impression. I thought I'd find out. <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> it's showtime. Yep. Uh, 
I'm Denzel Washington. I'm John Lithgow. John Lithgow. I'm John Lithgow. My mouth is a circle. You sound like you sound like John Lithgow when you put your mouth in a circle. You don't look like him, but you sound like him sometimes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, well, I got some gifts. Delta girls screaming. We were talking about girls screaming in the in the in the in the green room. Yeah, and how uh, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, I hear an expert Every time on girls I enter screaming. a room, <laughs> girls start screaming. Um, the uh, uh, like, well, because I was saying, well, I can't remember. You, you were saying like your hotel was next to a playground yes. in San Francisco. In San Francisco, and, and, like, and 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 there were girls watching the football game in the uh, airport. Um, and, and I, th- I thought there was an ISIS attack. Like, like, I don't know where it's, it's like, it's like, 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 like girls, like, like from age th- three to 20 will just shriek for, to express happiness. Like they won't even differentiate between, so it sounds like there's a murder happening. I was like, really like my adrenaline. I was mad because I was like, because they're sitting at the airport and I just heard like, like I can't do an impression of it. It's just like a shrill thing. And it was like, I really thought, I thought ISIS was, was, was there. Uh, and, 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 and then it was like, it's a fucking football game. And she's happy. She, her team's winning. And, uh, uh, like, got, like, got, and, and grown men definitely don't like maybe when you're little tiny, tiny, tiny kids, it's like all kids are just like, they're, they just do the same things. And they're like, but, but like, gr- grown men they they do make these horrible sounds too when they're uh when they're watching sports mm-hmm. but they for that it's like it's like you think th- there's a person is about to hurt you like like yes. the, like not that the, a person's about to it's get a, hurt it's a single attacker yeah it's, if it's, you it's will. like yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and it's like <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> dad <I'm>, yeah yeah <laughs> And I, and I and I made I, I I made I made some of your favorite uh, pulled pork sliders. Oh! I gotta stop doing that. I my fucking throat is shredded. Um, the uh, from shrieking at the football game, right? <laughs> but I, I was I, I uh, you, you and I came to the same like 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 conclusion, uh, which is that it's because girls. It's not because girls are socialized to do that. It's because they're socialized to do so much other shit that <laughs> they like repress them yes. that. Like when they're little kids on the playground, all they can do is scream. <laughs> yes. That's all they can do to affect. Them. It's like it's like like, you're just like yeah, it affects people, and it's like like they like 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 men like like st- start inheriting a planet where they can just like uh, uh, throw chairs yeah. and like get- smash it, smash it again, <laughs> and that is a sport. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and 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 when women are just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that thing, like uh, it's my carry power. Ah! <laughs> like, everyone flies against the wall. And, um, yeah, women. What can we do? Scream. Good That's luck. It. Good luck being married to one. <laughs> oh, I got to, no, I'm, I, I, it was my it was my I, it was my fault. It was a married. <laughs> my wife is a hero. She got away. She got away. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Pixar. Brad Pitt loves Anomaly's a mastectomy wedding. Uh, Leah Thompson Airport. Um, Denzel Flight Twenty Five Watt bulbs. Oh, oh, and that, what the, they, they, they were showing the uh, reel, the Denzel Washington reel, to give him his award. And uh, and and but they were like they showing all those you know those little phrases and things. And but then they're like showing like like the, the, like they show him flying the plane upside down. Yes. Like it, was, it wasn't like <laughs> it, was, it was kind of funny. Like, like what an actor. <laughs> it's amazing. Remember when he flew that plane upside down? <laughs> Like and they're then, just showing the plane. Then hits his head. Like then they just cut to him getting knocked unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> like he's so good at getting knocked unconscious. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. You know. They really should have shown him doing all those lines in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> lines of blow did, at the end. Of the- did you like that movie? I, thought, I, I, I was. I was very affected by that movie. I thought, yeah. I, I thought it was the best alcoholic movie. Yes. That I've ever seen. It's not like the whole like Jekyll and Hyde. Like oh, you're such a terrible person when you're drunk. That's why you should quit. Because it seems like well, that's common sense. And then people don't relate. But that was like the first movie I ever saw where it's like, no, I'm great at my job when I'm drunk. <laughs> I save lives I'm when fantastic. I'm Fantastic. Yeah. I, I still should quit drinking. <laughs> I, I, and it's up to me because I will get away with anything for the rest of my life. 
It got it got to me. <laughs> it really got to me. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's get to the gift gift portion of the uh, our friend our friend Michael. Uh, Michael, do you want uh, do you want to come up here so you can? You brought me a couple of gifts. Where's the? You brought you brought me like a. They got them back in the the green room. Someone could bring them up. Can you bring that big box out? On their way. This Woo! is very nice. Thanks, Steve. I, could, I knew what it was through the wrapping. <laughs> and I thought I'd open it out here. Got to use comic book paper. Mike drop. Sorry about that. <laughs> For the podcast, it's a leg-shaped object. (laughs) I know there's no replacing Old Faithful, but... No, yeah, and I found out it was a heartbreaker. I found out the uh, I found the thing because I looked at one of the writers suggested. Why don't you look on the this mannequin leg you keep kvetching about and like see if there's a model number or whatever on it? And I, it was a, a, a Carol Barnhart displays <laughs> incorporated, and I, I, I found their catalog and I found Old Faithful. I found my my plastic mannequin legs. There's a whole career uh, making those things apparently someday. <laughs> I, I, what do you, how do you mean? Well, Carol, whatever. Like, there's a whole name. There's a whole group of people making mannequin legs, apparently. Yeah. Branding. Yeah. Get into that. <laughs> yeah, Dan Herman I, but, Limited. I mean, but but I guess she went out of business because I can't. Was, there, no one's picking up the phone, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I, I was, it was ringing, and I was, I kind of relieved that, that that no one picked up because it's like, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> this conversation, but I would have had it. I would have been like, is one nine seven B available? And the <laughs> I'll, I'll take two bent and one straight, but no, they're gone. They're gone. I, and then I found on this eBay. on eBay first, and then I found a phone number, and it was like a place in El Monte, and I was like, oh, do you have – it's like I don't I don't know what the part number is. And it's like, oh, well, is it MN-189? Color? I was like, oh, oh <laughs> I'm speaking your language. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got that mannequin leg? Yep. Shit. You could just – Okay. I had to go to a physical place. Wait, what do you mean you? Had oh wait, to? I, mean, no, I can't I, I talk about that. I found the physical place. No, also. I tried. We, me, me, and Steve have been trying, trying to get a, a replacement leg. Aw. With, uh, with, with toe articul, not articulation, but you know, with, with toes. <laughs> with toes. With toes. We went to the swap meet like this week, and we we walked it backwards, and there was, I mean, there was a mannequin, but I mean, the, the toes weren't separate. I don't. Yeah. Like, There's a lot of uh, caveats in in mannequin work. <laughs> like, yeah. you go to you go to a mannequin thing, and you're like, oh, I want a leg, and they're like, we got legs. They're just attached to mannequins. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, you don't have legs. I know I've seen legs, and they're like, we got legs, but they're just for sandals and shoes. Like they don't have they don't have articulation. <laughs> and then uh, it, it was just a weird, weird situation. They took me up to the the mannequin graveyard, which is where <laughs> prop prop buyers for horror movies come and pick up like shitty, ratty, creepy looking mannequins, <laughs> because that's a good half of the business apparently of mannequins. <laughs> is simply props for horror movies specifically, not horror movies. Like, that probably represents 75% of all mannequin uses. But, yeah, I mean, horror horror films use all sorts of these mannequins. There's all these guys that are fabricating mannequins, and I was like, this seems easy. You can just make me one, right? And they're like, well, not so fast, Junior. And I had to go to, like, a back office and meet someone's dog and, like, sit in front of her on a PDF. That's to go through the mannequins guild first. Let's <laughs> get this straight. Me- meanwhile, mannequin- Across the street, a guy has a shopping cart full of AK 47s. It's just going down an aisle. Oh, I need grenades, grenades. Uh, that's a, I think that's the cover of the New Yorker. Uh, I just described the, the uh, oh, by the way, Rhea, I, uh, when I uh, masturbate, I rub a mannequin leg with hosiery on it on my nipple. Got it. <laughs> Makes total sense. Uh, and I and I had one that was a 1983 Carol Barnhart display model. Apparently, yes. I don't know, which is vintage. What did, what did somebody did somebody yell something out? Or oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just, just my mom's ghost. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, fuck, my mom died. <laughs> I should call my dad. I think I just murdered my mom with my mind. Uh, oh, God, dad's down there. Oh, I, I, I guess the house burnt down. Uh, oh, r- muffin. Oh, lucky. Uh, the pets are going. Oh, well, my brother was visiting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, what, oh, I, it was a vintage thing, and it was a nice foot. And mm-hmm. I, Great I, foot. I was rubbing on my nipple. But it's, I mean, not to offend Michael, but these are a dime a dozen. And <laughs> I, I thought you would laugh at that. I didn't think not you'd offensive. take it really seriously. Not but, offensive. Uh, no, it's very thoughtful. It's, uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to. Uh, yeah. Nothing's going to stop you now. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, it's probably not as cool as the vintage one. But I mean, it didn't, I mean, it didn't look terrible. If, if, if you have an opportunity to buy a mannequin part, like just, just go for it. I mean, sure. what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. You're going to, you're going to need it eventually. Yeah. I mean, it is more of like a third lizard wife type of a <laughs> mannequin leg, but. But that could be the most joyful one. Absolutely. Because all, you know, you, know, you already tried to fix people for the yeah. first two. And now you're now your mannequin leg, through. you're just like, let's be honest let's with just, each other. Let's just be honest. Let's just do this thing. And the mannequin leg's like, I love that. Yeah. I'll rub Have you all ever seen you. Legs Lavish? Le- Le- Legs Lavish, the YouTube site? Yeah. The, the YouTube channel? Yeah. That's, that was, that was my, 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 my spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you were asking. I was referencing you. Okay, all right. All right. You're, you're weird. <laughs> that's, I, I'm that's wearing overalls, that. though, you know, but I'm trying to be fr- MC John, you know. You also got, oh, I, I, your oh I didn't realize that. Was, oh, that's San, nice. San I thought Diego. that was, yeah, I just thought that's. San Diego. All right. Yeah, that's fantastic. Also, you brought beer. Co- well, yeah, we I brought, to, brought some homebrew. He brought homebrew beer. Can somebody grab it? Because it was chilling in the fridge. In the fridge. <sighs> are you, where beer goes. Are you a, are you, are you a beer person? Rhea I am Butcher? not a beer person. I, don't, I no longer drink. Mm. Yeah. Why'd yeah. you stop? Because uh, I got too good at it. <laughs> <laughs> because I nailed it. <laughs> Retiring. I finished drinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did it all. <laughs> did you? Did you? Are you comfortable talking about it? Oh, totally. Yeah, did, I talk did, about it on stage. Did you have like blackouts and like you were like a troubled, oh, yeah. troubled drinker? Like, yeah. Like, I wait. mean, I I realized that when I got really good at vomiting, there was a problem. <laughs> like that, I could like hide it, and I was like totally comfortable puking. I was just like, oh, this is a problem. Steve, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just she just grabbed it. And just, <laughs> <laughs> and then ran out like the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> and I take the leg with me. I'm a little jealous in some respects of people that that that, that kind of like because I I'm too much like Denzel in flight. Like I I could just keep doing it forever and yeah, I will I forever. will eventually die mm-hmm. because I won't I don't I don't so far I don't like. I'll, have, I'll, I'll I'll black out while drinking, but I won't wake up in like blood or like mm-hmm. and I don't I don't typically like 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 have like like super bad stories happen to me and stuff which means I can keep doing it but I'm like I can tell I'm slowly rotting my brain away like because I'm just like so able to drink all the time but you know it's a medication for a, a sickness called you people <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like 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 super smart juice for you <clears throat> what so, else is going on what, what's the deal with this beer, huh? Right. It was broad. Uh, yeah, I was reaching for more vodka, but we can... Okay, so you had warned me you're still getting the carbonation. Yeah, uh, they. I just always have to... I always throw that out. Yeah. I don't suppose you have an opener. Oh, shit. I have a lighter. Front row. I, he's got one? I came with him. How do you lighter people do the lighter thing? I, I it's it's just just hard, a, man. It's I mean, just a fulcrum it's thing. Fulcrum. Well, I know the principle, but I just I just don't under, I've never been able to do it. I'll demonstrate it for you. Oh shit! Ooh. Well, let's hope he succeeds. Am I right? Can you make sure? Is the there a camera? Stakes couldn't be higher. Right. Doing it for this camera. Is he? Is he? Is he on it? Yeah, the one with the red light. Yeah. Oh. The thing, like you really, you want it there as firm as possible, and then you just. Oh. Heads up. Oh. Watch out. Uh, 
But I don't. I really don't know what you did. What? What as firm? It was that <laughs> that downward angle. Yeah, shove it in hard there. That was close. I heard something, but I think that's just because you bottled it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean he's bad at bottling. I. I just meant like it's probably you know it's probably harder with a store bought. Almost. One more. It hurts. Oh. That's the thing, man. It... Yes, love. Dan. Hand, hand up higher. Yeah, you want? Here, let me show you. If you show me, then you do it. <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> show me. Oh, see, it's for the podcast, fault. they're failing to open a bottle. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, you. All right. You want you want this part of your thumb like close to the cap. Right? Oh, the thumb's part of it. Right. The thumb is the, the thumb That's the fulcrum. the fulcrum. I thought the bottle was the fulcrum. It's the oh thumb. my god. It was the it's, thumb the whole time. That's why it hurts. I'm gonna. I'm going to have to. Oh! <laughs> you loosened it. <laughs> I loosened it. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Michael. Do you want to talk about this beer? You brewed it yourself. Um, sure. You said it's Asahi, uh, sort of a. a yeah, a, like Asahi, that A S A H I, that company that sells really light beer. They have a Japanese beer that they make that's dark, and my buddy went to visit, and they brought some back, so. For New Year's, this is my New Year's beer. The, is the is the uh, darker version uh, called uh, So Veli Veli Asahi? So So Asahi, yeah. Why? How is it like Asahi? What did you do to make it like Asahi? Let's move it's past a, it. It's a it's a it's a clone. Uh, how you, do you clone an Asahi? Uh, by taste. I mean, any any beer you can you can figure out what's in it by taste. So it's not a clone. It's it's a it's a like it's you a just guess. tried to reinterpret. It. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. I mean, that's more impressive than just like I mean, finding a recipe to me. Yeah. Yeah. If you have the complete recipe, though, like you could be like, oh well, this is wrong because of this. If you're just making up a recipe, right? Uh, uh, yeah. It's. I mean, it's. It's more experimental, certainly, yeah, to do it by definitely. taste. Definitely. Engaging. All right. So this is, a, this is the... Okay. <laughs> Why'd you bump it on the podium? Time and place. That's how I cheers. Okay. Like Fair the, enough. Like this moment and this place. I don't know. Oh. That's how I learned to cheers. I'm into it. I like learning. <laughs> well, it's yummy. Thank you. I'm getting woozy. <laughs> no. Um, I, don't, I guess the joke was that he uh, uh, drugged me. You know, a lot of people make that joke. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's just it's, as easy to make. It's, but, the, it's uh, the overalls. I think pro... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it, was a, it was a Farmer Yeehaw. John. I, I decided the Farmer John thing. MC yeah. John. I was just like, it would. I thought it would be... Well, I, I thought it was... It's, it's L.A. We just assumed... Like, 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 we're just I like, thought okay, he was doing he a wee those. And, yeah. And, um, I had right. to call. I had to call probably eleven places to find mm. overalls, though. Well, On the eleventh try. This is a good celebration of my forty-third birthday, which was January third. Uh, we were, we didn't have a show. Woo! Uh, thank you very much, Michael. Uh, thank you for the leg. I will think about you while I'm using it. Uh, well, I mean, it's Los Angeles. Uh, <clears throat> I never named the legs, but if you... Uh, uh, Sophie? Great choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, got, you got some Algonquin roundtable uh, wit, wit to you. you, 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 you. <laughs> I'll pop in every now and then. R- Rhea, Rhea, Rhea played uh, with us on Harmon Quest, uh, coming soon to CISO in Woo! spring 2016. Woo! And uh, you had you had a you had a real burner in there, a real oh, yeah? like, like 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 fruit flies like a banana kind of just like just like that was fast. 
like like your 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 wordplay. Thank you. It's a skill. It, yes. I don't. I don't. I don't Owning have my it. craft. Um, and by the way, I invited Cameron to do this first, and then she donated her wife. But it was only because you were in the Harmon Quest show. Totally. I think really. I mean, I, you're you're my favorite. I'm, yes. I mean, I know that, and I'm uh, going to go home and tell her that. No. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, all right. So for our next segment. Did Ridley ever show up? Nah, he's beat. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so he like, fucking stranded me. Yeah. What, I got a text message. Justin Royland. Is he hey, here? Uh, nah, no. He's, let's he, not get the hopes up. I invited him, and he's, he's watching Making a Murderer. <laughs> what's he saying? What's he saying about what's holy, that guy, holy Stephen Avery? Holy fuck this show, Jesus Christ. Do people not know that cops are bad sometimes? <laughs> like, why is that still yes. shocking? Yeah, but that shit's crazy. Well, th- again, f- I, I keep saying this lately, but Philadelphia police bombed a neighborhood to kill a bunch of black people. Like, th- not, yeah, not funny. It's something that happened. It's horrifying. But that was the 70s. Those black people were scary. <laughs> we didn't know what they were going to do. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were making disco with... <laughs> Is it like the, uh, the parliament? There was a guy with a diaper. It was like it was a, it was funk music. Who Your calls guy music with a funk? Diaper. So they were unpredictable. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying we should have bombed them. <laughs> uh, it was you no. Know, yeah, I didn't know that. You told me that because I was like, "Are you yeah. sure?" You said firebomb. They firebombed because they thought there were some Black Panthers in that Something neighborhood. Like that, yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, why would that make it okay? I don't, I don't well, that, and the reason that conversation came up, of course, is because of these uh, dudes. These, oh uh, yeah, we got to talk about the, about that list. The ones you guys are calling Y'all Kata on, uh, <laughs> on on Twitter. Oh, they 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 they, they updated their list of. Uh, uh, you probably I tweeted it and or Spencer tweeted it and I retweeted it. I told Spencer about it. Spencer and then tweeted I, yeah. it before, while I was still talking about it. Spencer, I really got in there under the under the buzzer. Do you, do you have the... Do you, I can't... Uh, I can get a you. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I saw was they wanted the uh, American girl doll Molly to come back. <laughs> Wait, is that a... Are you, That's a joke. Oh, okay. That's a joke. <laughs> because, because the list... That's my wish, <laughs> and I was just putting it in as one of theirs. <laughs> the list has stuff funny. like really, a specific model of radio from Walmart. Like, they really want the Walmart one. <laughs> Which is like adorable, kind of, but then you're mad, and, and, and I'm like, but it also has be- miracle, here miracle whip and mayonnaise, like right well, ab- above each other. <laughs> I'm from Ohio, and so I can completely understand that because sometimes <laughs> you want the tangy zip of miracle whip, <laughs> and sometimes you simply want mayonnaise on your sandwich. I understand. <laughs> what, what are those times when you don't want the tangy whip? All the other times. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, do you, do people in Ohio just get scared that they're gonna they're yeah, gonna get a taste new, for too much good too things? Fancy in their mayonnaise. Oh, I don't want all that spice in there. <laughs> Whenever I make food for my family, they're like, I don't know. There's a lot of spice in there. I'm like, it's pepper. <laughs> <laughs> it says miracle right on the jar. I don't, I don't think we should be cracking this open that often. <laughs> yeah. This is Ohio. Uh, take it easy. I, just, I looked at it and I just assumed it was like a, a, a they couldn't they couldn't quell a civil war between them on that topic. <laughs> yeah. They're like guys, 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 bigger fish. Uh, how are how are we going to take out the government? Uh, we I can't got settle the list this dispute. If you want it. All right. Well, what? Yeah. Well, give us some give us some highlights. Well, I think my favorite is definitely uh, just the word aprons four inches. Yeah, four inch aprons. For the, they, they have Keebler elves at their <laughs> at their Make, place making mayonnaise cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I mean, I guess they must have multiple people writing the list because it, it, they have like hot dogs and then they have brats and then they have markers and then later on they have paper and chisel tipped markers. Right. It's just, it's weird. It sounds like they're gonna have a science fair. Oh. <laughs> Potatoes, uh, wires. Uh, this is my school. <laughs> Small light bulb, D cell batteries. Queen size bed sheets, twin size bed sheets, pillowcases, 
I don't know what they're trying. Yeah, why queen size? That seems too specific. Yeah, that's very. How many beds are in that outpost, right? Well, they also want tampons and 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 like a lot of one hundred cigarettes. So I'm. Well, thinking, tampons makes a lot of sense. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know they were allowed to have girlfriends. I, 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 aren't, they, aren't they supposed to be holed up and like taking over the government or or defending themselves from it? Well, they're not gay or anything. <laughs> They just they could just have they could just girlfriends just came and they're like 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 we miss you and they're like get yeah. in here and, yeah. and now they're just like I just, Amy needs tampons I, I, and some, you, and some and you, basic one hundreds stat I, I, I suppose the, and the list is so disorganized because I guess they were like putting it together and so it was, somebody was like well can we at least alphabetize this and they're like hey what the fuck do you think we're trying to get away from around here <laughs> why, why don't, maybe we should make a president of the list and he should collect a, a list tax. <laughs> okay, Steve, point taken. <laughs> we'll get Miracle Whip and mayonnaise. <laughs> Oven cleaner is on this list? Oven cleaner? What is that a priority to anyone ever? <laughs> like, they're roughing it, right? Uh, my favorite one is throw rugs for doorways. <laughs> of Yeah, throw rugs any and all size for doorways. But because really, doorway doorways. size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not any in all size. How many doorways are in this thing? Jesus, ice scrappers? What does that mean? Ice scrapers. Oh. Yeah. Why can't you spell... Th- I guess it's just a shopping list. They probably didn't proofread it. It's weird because they just have they have a lot of half formed thoughts. Like I love that someone, sugar and flour, but what, they're not doing anything. How, with how, it. How, how can you think scrapers spelled with two p's? Uh, do, I mean, because uh, what? How, how does that person think you spell scrapper with three p's? <laughs> <laughs> well, scrapper's just a thing. It's not a word you spell. Right. <laughs> It's not a word used by people that you spell a lot. Write it down. <laughs> it's not something scrappers do. They don't do a lot of spelling. Scrappers uh, just exist. They ain't no word or nothing. <laughs> you got who, who? Who here isn't through making of a murderer yet? Oh, so yeah. All our little yeah. Thanks for holding up the show, everybody. <laughs> can't, can't 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 talk about it. A little a little spoiler allergists. Well, it's fucked up. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Um, uh, but in Death of a Salesman, he dies. <laughs> that I can tell you. Yeah. How does he die? Uh, too many sales. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, over, he oversells. He oversells. <laughs> He sells, sells everything, and then, he's, and then there's nothing left, yeah. and, 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 and then he looks at himself, out. and then the lights go down, and you hear a, a, a gunshot and a cash register. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you hear God saying, just what I wanted. <laughs> but if you stay until after the credits, uh, God returns it, and, uh, and then he's just like, it's like fire in the sky. He's like naked and sucking his thumb. He's like, what happened? <laughs> And then someone comes by and says, like, are you okay? And he goes, yeah. And, and, they, and they go, okay, here, have some soup. And he's like, what is soup? And they're like, it's, it's soup from a store. He's like, what is a store? It's a place where you get products. How, who, who gives them to them? Salesman. I like this job, salesman. <laughs> I will be a salesman. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then credits. More credits. <laughs> And that, but then if you stay long enough, then uh, uh, he's, like, he's getting out of salesman school. And, uh, and they're like, good job. You're going to be a salesman now. And he's like, I hope I'm a good one. I'm going to live forever. And then, and then, and then he goes home, but, and he like, gets a beer out of the fridge, and you hear an off-screen voice say, oh, you think you're going to live forever, huh? <laughs> and he turns, and Sam Jackson's in his kitchen. And, and, and he's like, salesman going to live forever. You, you, this shit just got started, motherfucker. <laughs> and then he hands him a list, and he's like, "Ice scrapper." <laughs> the hell? That's right, that? motherfucker. I can't. I can't do Sam. Who, who can't do Sam Jackson? I love that continental yeah. Samuel Jackson. That's right, motherfucker. Because <laughs> I'm trying to like. I'm, that was I'm, like I'm, Kate Blanchett, Samuel Jackson. <laughs> that is you right, motherfucker. <laughs> Therese. 
it's my it's on my on my white guilt cockpit the altimeter for like racist uh, like actually I'm like I don't want to make him sound like if I can't do an impression of him and nail it yes. then I'm just racist I just yes. say I just sound like a crazy racist like a like black accent I'm not gonna do that so I'm like try, I'm you know, trying to do Sam Jackson but it, but I'm I'm not gonna risk it so then I just I'm just giving him this tremolo like uh, fucking like opera singer voice that's right motherfucker it's beautiful and then everyone's driving home and they're and they're like boy that Dan she sure isn't racist <laughs> why do you say that honey well didn't you notice that he can't even do Sam Jackson very well I mean the man sounds like you know if you did a good impression of him you'd sound racist <laughs> yeah yeah I guess you're right mm-hmm. it's pretty crazy how he, he he just made him sound he made him sound like Kate Blanchett <laughs> do you want to stop at Arby's um <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I guess. I mean, is, our, is, is today our cheat day, or are we taking it tomorrow? Well, we, the last week, week we did Friday. I figure we can do Thursday tonight. Is tonight Thursday? We just saw Harmontown. Um, uh, every night is Thursday. Oh, my God, there's a head in the sky. <laughs> Pull over. Throw a crowbar at it. It's a miracle whip. <laughs> I am miracle whip. <laughs> I will make your species tangy <laughs> forever. No more mayonnaise. I don't know why I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> I'm really kind of I'm kind of scared. I, I went through a list of things to talk about. I I think I, I think I don't think I have any lesbian questions left. Mm. Um, well, uh, do, what, what was the mar- What was the wedding like? Like, how is the process? Is this offensive? How's the process of planning a, a wedding? Sure. Well, we got fitted for our Birkenstocks together. <laughs> <laughs> In October. No, we just had it at like a. We had it at a venue that we've performed at. So that was super fun. It's We're- like a little house type venue in Chicago. Uh, it's called the Hideout. And then we got married there. Are you guys both from Chicago? Uh, Cameron's from Chicago. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, we already knew you're from Ohio. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. I don't retain anything. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just stand up here and sweat and try to get away with things. <laughs> uh, do, do, uh, 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 here's my final lesbian question. Yes. Uh, do you ever wish that I saw you as something other than a lesbian? No. Okay. Good. I'm a lesbian first and everything after. <laughs> I am nothing if not a lesbian. <laughs> you, you showed me in the back, you have, a, you have a t-shirt you got at a gas station that says zero to lesbian in 60 seconds. Yep. It's pretty good. No, mm-hmm. it's just zero. <laughs> Love that T. <tea. laughs> uh, it's not a bald spot, it's a solar panel for a lesbian machine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I liked that one. Yeah. Uh, le- lesboholic. Yeah. It's just chocoholic. If you're reading this, um, the woman that I really love and respect has fallen off of my motorcycle. <laughs> Please help her now. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> Lesbian, lesbian t-shirts uh, they're great uh, hmm. all right like, uh, uh, mm. <laughs> hello <laughs> how are you <laughs> what oh um, uh, CISO uh, uh, is live right now you should watch it and uh, uh, Harmon Quest comes to it in the spring uh, oh, thank you, yeah. thank, thank you, plug finger. Uh, plug finger. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm awful sorry about that. I'm always the last person to know when there's like regional uh, chicanery. I, I believe that's just because the old studios. You know, the Universal's at the top of this, and Sony was at the top of the, the Yahoo thing. A lot of people got mad at Yahoo, but you should not have. That's Sony stuff. That is why you couldn't watch, uh, why it didn't play everywhere. Because they have these really, really, really old school deals carved out for like different parts of the planet and stuff. Uh, it's like, it's like just going back to like the, the history of these studios. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I 
I, I, I don't get it. I don't know why they don't want to change that. I, I was like really, I was so excited when Yahoo thing was happening because I was like, oh my God, we're going to just be able to count clicks and just fucking get an honest number of how many people like the show. And I was like, oh no, it's like, ugh, it's very frustrating. But uh, yeah, and I didn't know CISO was the same way or if it is or whatever, but but uh, I got nothing to do with it. Just move to America like like, <laughs> like all these immigrants are doing. Got to got to build a wall around the 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 thing the the the, the Donald Trump uh, uh, stuff. <laughs> Looks like Bernie Sanders and Hillary are tied in the whatever the thing is there that people care about the uh, elections the the, the, the polls. <laughs> well, like the 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 I don't know like the the, the polls in Iowa or something like that or oh probably like yeah whatever the latest data is is like they're she you know he's she's feeling the burn. <laughs> she should be. It's not, yeah, I don't know. I have only boring thoughts about politics. Like the fact that if there's like a neck and neck thing going on in the Democratic Party, because he's running as a Democrat, so is she. Yeah. And then Trump, is he running as a Republican? He's running as a Republican, yeah. The Republicans have like made him like do sign promises and do pinky swears that he's going (laughs) to abide by all Republican and doctrine and stuff. It's really ridiculous how I don't think, I don't know. Have they done that before? Because it's been kind of funny. uh, The kinds of things that they're trying to control Donald Trump with. I I guess it's not that funny. I haven't, I have I, well, if it is, you'd have to get specific. And yeah, I before can't. they laugh. I mean, yeah, they no, just... I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not blaming them at all. Don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm like, real clear you here. You can't just allude to a pie fight that happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently you can. <laughs> I can. Okay. I'm a storyteller. Yeah. Again, not blaming them. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I, yeah, I haven't been following because I'm getting scared. So, I mean, isn't the basic fact that if he's running as a Republican and there's nobody even close to him and they're all terrified of him now and now we have these two people, is it going to be another one of those things? But but Sanders has said that he won't he won't split the ticket, right? He'll he'll back out. Yeah, and Obama's not been endorsing either candidate. I mean, I don't think the people who like Bernie Sanders are like, oh, it's Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump for me. <laughs> Like so, when you know one of them loses, they'll they'll switch over, and it'll 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 just it'll be great. What? No, but the idea is that if it's Bernie Sanders or yeah, I mean, like 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 it's, that's if that's if they don't both run, Bernie and Hillary. You know, that's the thing. Well, oh, you mean in the general election? Yeah, when the, when the yeah when the rubber meets the road, if they were to somehow split the ticket, like if he were to go off like and oh. run like a nader. Yeah, I don't think that people run as Naders these days. Seriously, do they? No, Bernie Sanders is Ralph Nader. That's what. <laughs> well, I mean, well, he's in the he's in the Democratic ticket like, right. contest right now. Like, if we get past that point, and then he's still going now, I'm going to run as an independent or something. I don't think that's going to happen. But if it did, that'd be uh, a possible thing. But I don't think that's likely either way. But I mean, everyone's talking about that. You know, him presenting a strong challenge to Hillary is only going to make her seem more. Uh, you know, a better candidate because she's actually fighting against a real competition. Yeah. See, boring political thought. <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting kind of important. Like we're we're getting it's down always to the kind deadline, of important. and this guy is this this Hitler man is still running. <laughs> It's really yeah. scary. I well, no, the real fear is that fucking Ted Cruz is the one that's hiding behind his shoulder. Is everyone's going to be like, oh, great, we got rid of Donald Trump. Now we have Ted fucking Cruz. Are you kidding me? I mean, he go with this. Well, I mean, this is a reference no one gets, but like trans metropolitan, like they, they had these political. I, I, I was wrong. We're in the back of a comic book store after all. But like he's the Ted Cruz is the fucking smiler. Like he he doesn't. He was a political candidate who is like invented by an institution. He doesn't have a past and he doesn't believe in anything like at all. He's even said any like as much. And in the de- in the debates, he gets a lot of steam and attention for saying, "I'm gonna dis." Mantle journalism. He gets fucking <laughs> applause for talking about how he's going to destroy the freedom of the press. Like it's fucking insane. Like I don't. Donald Trump is like I'm going to fuck my daughter, but it's not like I'm going to fuck my daughter and no one can talk about it ever. 
Like, he's just a raging asshole. But raging asshole. It's not really his platform, to be fair. Well, I mean, uh, it's you're just, not. It's just his wish list. You can't as, as pretend person. like. You can't be both following and not following politics. That's one of his central planks, is fucking his daughter. <laughs> if elected, I will be a office. chicken in every pot, and I will fuck my daughter <laughs> in every home. <laughs> he's going to take his daughter into every home and fuck her. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, everybody. I got off track. But, I mean, I don't know. Donald Trump is, like, a crazy asshole. But I feel like a crazy asshole believes that he's, like, doing good stuff and might actually deep down have real principles at heart. But I don't think Ted Cruz has displayed anything other than uh, a baseless desire for pa- pa- uh, power and utter lack of principles. <laughs> Boring political thoughts. I'm really, I'm really, really terribly unfamiliar with the guy entirely. I wouldn't be if he was standing in front of me. I wouldn't be able. To, I don't even. I've never even seen a picture of him. Well, you if you see, if you saw him, you wouldn't want him to be anywhere near you or people you cared about. He looks like yeah. I've talked about this. He looks like he does bad stuff to kids. <laughs> Does he really? Oh, wait, I'm a dude. So, he, so he has a comb over and a patchy beard? <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I've talked about this before. I also made passing reference to the fact that I, as someone who looks like a child molester, know when someone looks like a child molester. It's, it's, it's a real, it's like, it's like my version of gay tar. It's just like... <laughs> Only it's just based on looks. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this... That's not how gaydar works. If all gay people lo- looked like Rip Taylor, uh, <laughs> then everyone would have gaydar. <laughs> you might be right about that. Uh, what, what do you think, gay community? What, uh, do you have politi- <laughs> uh, political political thoughts? <laughs> do you care about politics? Oh, I care about politics, but I just... I'm. <laughs> <clears throat> I want uh, Hillary to run, but I feel like it's crazy that I'm like a woman in 2016 and I'm like scared to say that because so many people are like, boo! Like we did a show in San Francisco and we we're like, uh, just off the cuff said Hillary, like not even talking about her. And all the whole room was like, boo! 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 Which is just like amazing to me that there's a female candidate and people are like, no, no, we have a socialist old white guy, so we're going with him now. She's going to have to wait 20 more years. <laughs> well, I mean, is it, ju- I mean, like, like, is it just that she's a woman? I mean, is that. No, I think she's capable. Of- I know that she has made bad choices. Here's the thing. Like, she wasn't always on board with uh, gay rights in the government, but also, like, hey, my family wasn't always on board with gay rights <laughs> until I talked to them a bit, and they were like, oh, okay, now I get it. I'll, I'll go with that. Even so, you, like, you yourself probably, maybe, like, oh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. I was like, I'm where... not gay <laughs> for like 20 That's years. A good point. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, Hillary. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I mean, but well, but keep going because I don't really know anything. Like, sell, sell me on her. I'm not, and I'm not unsold on her. But I, I'm uh, just like, now's your chance. You got a pulpit. So, sure. Like, I mean, I have. It's nine I, eleven. It's a perfect time to do it. Oh yeah. Well, as we all know, Hillary. Here are some was, other things you should never forget. Hillary was the mastermind behind nine eleven and brought. No, I don't know. Um, I just. No, I'm I'm kidding. It's a it's a joke thing. She 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 voted to change the melting point of steel. Yes, she did. <laughs> she keeps trying to lower it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? No, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just. I'm. I'm totally curious. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I mean, my position is just that uh, it's America, and it's 2016, and it's time to have a female president. And I think she's more than qualified to do the job. And like, she could be better, but every candidate could always be better. You know. So that's how I feel about that. I'm outside my depth. Like, I don't. I don't have enough. I, 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 if anyone calls me on up to the carpet and to explain any of it, I won't have anything to back it up. But my. <laughs> My, my, maybe I'm reflective of all of America in that regard, uh, like because none of us have time to like like research any of this shit. But it just seems like she's a little, like she's like she's she's very effective and, and a little mm-hmm. like 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 she's she's she seems like she's on the right side of like uh, leftness. Like she's very she's she's con- a little kind of conservative-y. Is that that's what? Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, you don't care. You're yeah, just like, fucking woman. Like, let's just God, do it. I'm tired. I just want. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that'll change the national psyche on a fundamental level? Obviously, I do. Uh, actually. Electing Donald Trump will change the fucking national. Yeah, psyche. like in a in really poorly. I mean, I don't think that. Uh, obviously, electing Barack Obama didn't fix everything, right. but I do think that on a long enough timeline, like something that uh, Chris Rock actually said in a Rolling Stone interview, like affected me a lot. In that he was talking about his kids and he was like, my kids are growing up knowing from the time that they were children that a black man has been the president of this country. And they they will not think the other way. Like they don't think the way that we think in this room because we weren't kids. when. And so that is just in their brains and that's how they're going through the world. So I think that as children for boys and girls and uh everyone on the gender spectrum to see a woman in the white house would be an effective change for this country to see right. women as equals that can do the same jobs as men yeah so. it, would start, it, it would it would put a woman i guess I, like like obama's gotten such a bad fuck it like like this is, this is such a it was such a shitty like time to become president absolutely and, i mean like, he had a congress that was like no on everything no matter what he did so and then he, and then he just done. like you know it's like where it took us it took us 20 years to to realize that jimmy carter wasn't a pariah because it was just put in our heads yes. he was a bad president when oh, yeah, he was just he just spent his term handcuffed and like what, what he couldn't do anything and and like i to me the most important thing though is personality because i'm too jaded like i just i just just feel like we're electing like a person that's going to speak for the country exactly. uh, like 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 at, at at fucking holiday parties like 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 like, right, yeah. like like not like 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 they're going going and meeting like oil sheiks and like and like walking around and and, and being in, in newspapers and saying stuff like like i don't really believe in the, the system enough to think that the president has more of a job than that but that's the thing is like when you look at that job description look what jfk did look what look what roosevelt did yeah um the other one the uh, the the not the not the uh the guy with the pith helmet, the guy in the wheelchair, the uh, the 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 the, the 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 like there's a you know you can create a whole national psyche. So if she was like elected and then she was like walking around and she was kind of badass just in terms yeah. of swagger, mm-hmm. I do think that would be that would be good beneficial for everybody whether they realize they're benefiting from it or not mm-hmm. i just i'm not i don't know if i i don't know if i trust her to be have that <laughs> swagger like I, I like obama talks like a fucking game show host he's amazing like it's just like i, I like listening to his fucking soothing voice and his lack of <laughs> like after sure. 8 years of that fucking potato yeah <laughs> I just I I want to not care about politics, and it would just be like every time that guy opened his fucking mouth, he was like, "I beat the boo boo." I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to the fucking retarded people. I'm sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. My sister's retarded. You deal with it. She gave me a pass. She, 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 she looked into my eyes and she said, "No, I'm not going to do it." <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna Gervais. He's gonna Gervais. Um, the uh, the the the. Anyways, yeah, I, 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 like like her personality. That's a, if we started this conversation and I said I don't like her personality, I might I like you. You might walk away going like, yeah, her personality is that she has a vagina. That's what you don't like. But like we're ending the conversation that way because you, I, I like I. Yeah, I, 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 that I'm not. I, I would love a woman president. I just, I just like I said, I, I don't. I like, 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 I, she, she's, I, 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 I like her, 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 her speeches, her fucking like, the, the, like she, she's like, I, 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 got a uterus. She's got. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's not true. I swear to God. No, I know. I mean, if she was just more bubbly and had some pom poms, I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, then I mean, I, I like all kinds of women, you know, like uh, uh, Miss May, Miss Miss October. Um, <laughs> Like, I, there's a woman every month that I just, like, I really approve of. Like, uh, <laughs> no, but I, I really, I just, like, I, w- I want her to be Margaret Thatcher, you know, even though it was, like, 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 like you ask British people and be like, well, are you fucking insane? Like, she's yeah. a, she, but, but it's like, I, I just mean in terms of, like, you know, like, like, have, have a woman that's like, we will, we eventually put on a coin that's like, and then, mm-hmm. then we call, like, old, old iron fucking button, like, like, like. <laughs> 
be, be, to, 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 to get away from those like like like, yeah. like 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 dichotomies and stuff. It was like, oh, we had a fucking like badass like like ruler yeah. that issued a war, into, uh, us into a world of like like uh, like exploring space and like like uh, uh, reducing our prison population and, and uh, like like things turned around and that I would uh, it would be great to have a have a have a have, just as with a ship to have a woman at the front of that going like this like those ships. Yeah, but with a lesbian T-shirt on. Yeah, not, the, like I'm up here. Shells. They would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the, Hillary, Hillary's coin would say, "I'm up here." It would be like, uh, her, 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 uh, anyways. But yeah, I, 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 the truth is, I mean, I, I fully, fully admit, I know fucking nothing. Like, because I'm just kind of disgusted by the whole thing. Like every time I start getting into politics, I always. I get, rep- I just like sp- the, the, within the first five minutes, I'm like, this is so gross. This is so gross. Yeah. Like, like I, I just want, I, I like, I'm an anarchist. Like, I just want, I want that guy that landed the helicopter on the Congress lawn to, to that mailman with all the letters. I want him to be president. <laughs> And, 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 and I, want, I, want, I want that guy that said that, you know, that Lessig guy that says, like, like, like vote for me and I will make campaign, ref- I'll call for campaign reform and then quit. Like, uh, and, then, and, then, and then whoever's my vice president can take over and you can, you can impeach him if you want. But, like, I, there will be a mandate because 85% of the country, including conservatives, it's a bipartisan issue. Is like, like, everyone wants campaign reform. I just can't imagine. Even, I will, I will honestly say it's more important than global warming, campaign reform. Because it encompasses everything. Because we're we're the we're still so far the biggest country in the world. Like 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 doing the biggest, making the biggest effects on the world. We have the biggest chance of getting China to stop like pumping fucking smoke into the sky. Um, and but we can't get our shit together unless we stop intermingling capitalism with politics. It just has no place in it. It's insane. It's like, it's like, like, like the idea that in order to run for president, you have to have billions of dollars. It's like fucking, we're so fucked because of that. And all we have to do is pass like, like one law or do something. No, you don't, Dan. I don't know how it works. So shut up, you jaded fucking Redditor. <laughs> I'm jaded here. <laughs> it used to be like illegal to spend money on a campaign, I think. Like back in George Washington's day, like I think you really couldn't spend money making the case that you should be president. And to the point it's gotten today, it's just astonishing to think about that, you know? Yeah. Citizens United? Jesus Christ. I mean, that shit is so fucked up. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> it's gotten so much more fucked up. Also, what happened to all these antitrust laws they made us learn about in high school? Why the fuck? Who, 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 who just merged now at fucking like, 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 like fucking mobile, mobile Exxon and fucking Time Magazine merged or something? Like, I can't remember. It was, it was like, what? Those companies merged? What the fuck in the goddamn monopoly fuck? What the fuck? Like, they used to, the, the idea, you know, remember when the phone company got too big and people panicked and had to break them up? Like, yeah, now we have businesses that are too big to fail, so we got to keep them. We got to keep them around. We got to keep them not failing. Ugh. It's the exact opposite of busting a trust. Yeah, that's what that's when I get boring because it's like everyone said it before. It's like we're all going like like because they they fucking they that's the the big short like takes that dark turn and it goes uh like they knew they knew the whole time we were asking ourselves if they were stupid or if they were stupid but they were evil and they were just confident in the government they would bail them out and make poor people pay for everything I fucking god damn it I'm gonna eat a dick. <laughs> So mad I'm gonna eat a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Old iron butt. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a. Like, can you imagine like a welder at work and it's like, it's like hey, did you hear what? Did you hear what the, the chancellor of Germany said to said to uh, at the UN and and then uh, and then uh, uh, Hillary said what she said back and I was like, yeah, she told him to do this. Like, yeah, fucking, our president's awesome. That'd be great. And then he goes back to welding and he's like, he's like, I love women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he wouldn't go home and hit his wife because he'd he'd, he'd, he'd he'd be like, yeah. it was so hard welding today and my dad hit me so. And, and then he'd see his wife's face and, and he'd be like, you look like the president. <laughs> Just, just make me a sandwich. <laughs> you, you, you guys' reactions. Miracle Whip this time. It's a special night. I think you guys really disapprove of that welder. Just <sighs> 
uh, what, you just stay north of a successful country and fucking... <laughs> fucking trumped you. <laughs> All right, get up here, Canada, if you want, if you want. Canada expert. All right. He's got, he's got, well, no, yeah, tell, in, 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 uh, tell, tell, talk about Canada. I like that, five yeah. parties. That sounds good. How does, no, the, man. how does the voting work? Uh, well, okay. Oh, it's, what's your name? Sorry. Sorry, my name's Adam. Uh, apologies to people who don't like anyone named Adam, but that's what's happening. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was so, just going to make a joke about how the voting starts once everyone's apologized to each other, <laughs> but then you apologized for your name. So, <laughs> and, and, and it's the first name ever. <laughs> it's like the least yeah. the least offensive name anyone could ever have. It's the one God oh, Adam named the first, the man? first guy. <laughs> I'm the first person. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, in Canada, shit is totally different because we don't vote for a president, man. We vote for like uh, our individual like representatives. Like, if there was a senator, uh, the senator uh, would go off to uh, Washington, and then all the senators from all the individual parties would get together and talk to everybody and be like, "Here's what our party believes." And there would be all the different parties. And like the fucked up thing is, imagine there was like a Texas party because we have the. Que- the Quebec party and they all they get tons and tons of votes imagine there's a, like a Texas party and they control like a third of it and then there's like the conservative party which is like way more left wing than your guys' like left wing party and we hate them and then uh, we have our like left wing party which is doing okay now and then the middle party which is like eh let shit happen and everyone gets elected they get a certain number of seats and then they divide it up and whoever has the most gets to run the place and nobody leaves a tip <laughs> no, no, 15%. Really? Yeah, 15%, man. It's pretty standard. Or if you don't, you say, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you tip in... I, I, thought, I thought you didn't tip... In, I thought tipping wasn't customary in Canada, and, that, and that's why like, waiters and bartenders, like, they complain about Canadians, t- Canadian tourists. Have you not been tipping in Canada? I, Jack, I tip everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tossing toonies all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Is it toonies or loonies? To- it's all loonies and toonies. Both. Both. Oh, yeah, both. We're going to get a $5 one. coin and then shit's going to get real confusing. No, I really thought that. Loonies. I don't know. And I also wouldn't be surprised if you said, like, oh, in, in, uh, in this uh, fucking, what do you call them? Uh, 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 procedurals? What are, what are your uh, <laughs> territories? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I thought, where, where did I get that from? The, the, the tipping thing? Is that, is, that, is that changed or has that been no. Or 15%. It, so I think uh, it's Europe. I don't know. No, no, no. It, yeah, when I went to Europe, I was trying to give people money, and they were like, oh, we don't do that here. And it was mm. really confusing. Some but... people are genuinely offended. Like, 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 yeah. like they, they feel like you're saying like that you can own them or something. Well, like, 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 yes. like, but... No, it's included. Like, their boss is like, don't, don't take tips. We're going to pay you more. And it like, uh, there's, there's a big argument. What's that guy? Uh, Adam explains different Adam. And, uh, <laughs> he has a thing where, where Adam shits on this Adam thing. ruins everything. Adam ruins everything. That's the guy. He has the t- <laughs> Sorry. That was rough. Apologize. Uh, I, apologize. I'm very sorry to everyone. Uh, yeah, he had a thing about tipping. that was very accurate. And, uh, well, yeah. will you, will you do it for us? Will you, will you say, say, say the word about, about, Oh. Are you faking? Are you faking? No, I, I listen to too much American television. No. So, do you want me to say it properly? House? Yeah, house. house. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I didn't. Do about? they say? Do they say house? <laughs> no. Okay. Let me tell you what that's about. Uh, or see, there's about uh, on the East Coast. That's where everyone sounds more uh, Irish. And that's where everyone's all talking about the trawler and the fish, and they're going out and uh, say, how you going there, boy? Oh, yeah, that's this, eh? Going to Newfoundland there, yeah. eh? That, which, which, get, that's, they sound like the stereotypical Canadians, but that's not me. Which is obviously a, dist- a, a, a cousin of what, my homeland, Wisconsin. We all, everybody talks, you, ta- ta- talks like, well, the, the Fargo people. People thought Fargo, yeah. well, I remember when Fargo came up, people, like, people don't talk like that. That's a little over the top. It's like, no fucking way, dude. <laughs> because now you're watching Making of a Murderer in Manitowoc, and, uh, <laughs> and it's like, oh, oh, yeah, at that particular time, uh, you gotta get them all. notice that the, uh, the murder weapon was uh, in place there. And, uh, <laughs> Is that a Rav Four? Yeah. Yeah. You got a, it's a, it's it's a, a ninety-nine 99. Toyota. Yeah. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Yeah. Uh, you looking at the plates there? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. 
No, I'm not looking at the vehicle. <laughs> that was insane. Nuts. So, dude, fuck you guys. Like, 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 like just, we're conscious of your spoilers, but uh, it's but like. But also, like, it's like, a real thing in the world, so like, it's, you can't. <laughs> What that is? happened oh. like it happened and it's well, in the, it's been in the news and stuff so like yeah yeah you can't yeah. really spoil it i'm interested it's... now though the reason i love those documentary series is because you always you get to watch the whole thing and then and then you get to do the whole second wave of like because mm-hmm. everyone starts talking about how it's not that's not accurate and then you get to like read all the extra shit it's fun it's fun. It's yeah. fun. It's fun when people go to prison for their, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, like the the Memphis, the, South, the West Memphis like, thing. Is like, like this is like a genre of entertainment for us. Is like a miscarriage of justice stories yeah. that we never paid attention to in real life and are just reading like a, it's like novella. second screen experience. <laughs> and then there was like I was I was at the CNN on TV at the uh, at the airport. And I was seeing the Chirons. Uh, that is like oh yeah, the Netflix like this thing is so popular. And of course, people are petitioning. And saying like, let, uh, like, 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 change this thing. I'm trying to not do any spoilers, um, and, and it's like you know, nothing's gonna change. Like, 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 you, you, no one, ca- the, the, no one cares that you watched the Netflix show. <laughs> like, 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 they were aware of the stakes at the time that this yes. shit was happening. <laughs> um, it's, it, it is it's like, it's, I mean, not that I disapprove of that. I mean, I think it's great that when you're watching something like that, like, I think that. Yeah, whatever. What am I fucking talking? You're gonna stick your head up your ass, Harvey. <laughs> you're yeah. talking about a good show. It's, I'm talking it's about the. Uh, about. I'm talking about. Sorry the, for interrupting. Uh, no, no, no. I, I wanted to get back to that character. <laughs> at, the, at that point in time, we had noticed that the uh, <laughs> that the blood was uh, coming out of a decapitated head, uh, and so we decided at that at that at that particular time to to go and investigate behind the barn. Um, <laughs> And what did you see behind the barn, <laughs> Corporal Langerhanger? Uh, we saw the rest of the uh, the body, and there was blood all over the place. And yeah, it's like it's like a it's like a relative. Uh, there's none of that is real from the thing. There's no decapitated. Uh, uh, there's no blood. The the, the 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 it's like it's like a it's like a Norwegian thing. Like right? Like like how does how does that? Accent no, it's, work I, th- I, th- I think it's like a like a British Isles actually thing that kind of like mm-hmm. diluted and then it, it got really. It's 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 a, a poor people accent actually. Like the oh. no really like if you guys want to talk about like what divides people, it's not everyone's like oh race this race that or like regions this. No, it's just rich and poor people. And like in the, back in the day, it was all oh, Irish Canada. people. <laughs> oh, okay. For us, it was uh, the Ukrainians. Everyone shot on the Ukrainians, and they were like, "Oh, you smell like cabbage." And but uh, the Irish, for the longest time, were, were like the shitty people, and they had like the poor people accent, and that was like the like the ghettoized the uh, language that was floating around. So that's where a lot of it comes from. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that that the accents are they're they're like genealogical, like they like, like definitely for sure Wisconsin for sure. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the most uh, effective on uh, Wisconsin's accent it's, a, it's it's like a, it's a it's a it's it has to do with the earliest uh settlers to that area uh coming through the uh north and uh coming down oh yeah down the south were, there but they were uh, <laughs> but they were coming from like uh I, I believe it's like when you hear it and you compare it to like like Norwegian accents and stuff it's like it has something to do with that I don't fucking know <laughs> Sure. I don't know, but I have opinions, and I'm like like shouting ears down. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, because a- you're because you're like it's just when you're poor. Well, when you're poor, you don't just decide to elongate your O's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't afford to no. talk cool. No, you- <laughs> <laughs> that's from now on. That's a boat. <laughs> Your, your dad's too poor to the, go to the country club, and then you just all sit around talking about lumber, and then it, you're like, I don't fucking, let's go fishing then, all right? I can't afford the letter U. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I sold much, it. Yeah. <laughs> I sold it for a boot. Uh, we traded okay, so. it in for rye down at the store, eh? Uh, let's see, Canada questions. Um, what well, does Canada think about lesbians? Uh, we're, we're very cool with lesbians. Uh, we were all over uh, gay rights and gay marriage. Tell her early, like you mean so. it. <laughs> we, I'm we're, just kidding. We're into it, okay? Thanks. <laughs> we're with you. I, I really appreciate your support. I do have yeah. to say one thing, though. Tell Eve me. was framed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lilith, That's an Lilith was framed, actually. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, I hope this guy knows on. what's talking. Right, huh. right. Lilith. Sorry for Lilith, by the Thank way. Thank you. Canada. I appreciate it. Wait, who's, who's Lilith again? What? Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. The first, Adam's first wife. Wait. 
Wait, yeah, oh, that's yeah. not in the oh, real talking? Bible. That's education time. Okay, so like, well, well was this in like the um, uh, the, uh, the the Torah? This is a super old story. Adam had a first wife before Eve, and uh, she came down and she was all like, in the here's the way it's going to be. And Adam's like, whoa now, that's a little too uh, aggressive for that's me. That's a God's little too like, gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Let's make a new one. Pull a rib out, make an Eve. And she's all like, I do whatever you want. Uh, and so that's a story that Christians know. But there's like, like Lilith Fair. Of course, is based off this idea that there was an uppity woman who uh, who didn't do what she was told. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, what, but was there or wasn't there? I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm it's not, not asking it's if the a, Bible was real. I'm saying, is there in the is there some version of the Bible? It's apocryphal. Was, you know, there's a lot of apocrypha, aren't there? Well, like, uh, is it Gnostic? Is it one of the Gnostic? Oh, so things? it's like one of these. It's like like Gnosticism. It's like one of these. There, there's like texts out there that they. Okay. I love midrash. Yeah. So there's actual there's actual texts that have been like filed away, like making the... a midrash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like only the, halfway uh... through though. <laughs> I won't spoil the ending for Don't you. Don't spoil it for me. What was the other thing? Was it that there was a female disciple, or was it just that Mary had like more of an active Mary role? Mary Magdalene was actually a disciple. Yeah, but, well, like but she got like married to Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. And then there was a baby, and, and then Tom Hanks. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Tom Hanks was there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> In Canada, we believe all of these things. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta no, that's the problem, actually. Is right now we just actually came through a big, uh, a big push to get back to to our like more lefty side. We had a, an asshole that was kind of Ted Cruzy because he's from Canada, by the way. Sorry, uh, and uh, we just had a big election where we elected a reality TV star who's very funny. And uh, oh, we should try that. Yeah, we yeah do totally it, man. Do like, uh, 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 what's who's like a really like who's a charismatic reality TV star who's kind of like lefty. Anthony Flav- Bourdain. Flav- Flav? What? Oh, what? The guy from Shark Tank. What's that guy? <laughs> Robert. Uh, no, no. No, the like, liberal the situation. One. <laughs> Robert Dvorak or whatever his name is. Well, the son well, of an this? immigrant Why are farmer. You <laughs> what? Okay, like here's the thing: is oh, well, his dad was actually a really super famous. Uh, prime minister before this and he called in all sorts of shit and made a bunch of enemies but then after that his son came out and did a bunch of you know blah blah blahs I'm a rich kid I don't care and he had a really famous video of him being famous for, uh, what for are falling you down the about? stairs uh, our prime minister oh okay Justin Sorry, Trudeau man. yes yeah, Justin Trudeau he oh, came he, in he created uh, 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 Dunesbury <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Well, so you who know, cares yeah, about that? I, I think, like, like, yeah. Obviously, I was, I was kidding when you, when I, I got jingoistic about Canada because um, you could I, learn I, a lot from Canada. I'm though. not feeling particularly patriotic over the last eight years or so, but uh, not because of Obama. <laughs> it's just eight years is as far back as I can remember. Uh, I think, I, I, but I think it is like since his election, which was a kind of exciting thing that made you feel like politics could be part of a story again that whole national psyche thing and then it just like turning back into the Jimmy Carter thing where it's just like oh so we're just gonna watch people they just they love fucking lying and they like they everything they think it's all a game and their job is to win and it fucking everybody just like 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 blames everybody else well your guys media is fucked up yeah it's like it's it's definitely bad I'm not blaming you sorry I'm just saying (laughs) it's like well it's here's the thing all right here's here's all society's problem we don't have a fucking... When you get those freemium games... <laughs> <laughs> don't blame Candy Crush for your politics, man. <laughs> they know, because inevitably in those uh, freemium games, there's always, like, two forms of currency. You know, the way they get you is they go, like, you need splooges to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to buy more uh, seeds uh, and the splooges you can like there's always a secondary currency though there's always like mana points or something like that and it's like it's, it's, it's because if there was just splooges and that's all that mattered there's all, inevitably going to be a way to cheat the system like, like the system's not going to keep working unless there's some kind of like secondary value system and obviously what it needs to be is like a fucking like actual cultural one like we actually need to understand and 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 in some way we 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 need to understand that there's like that 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 the money is like poker chips that make the casino run but that the there's something larger like the electricity which is like human life like like it's like 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 where it's like if you could just make electricity that's more valuable to las vegas than any of your money because they're like oh we can make the cowboy on the sign like have more lassos now like (laughs) 
<laughs> so so you can stay and you're valuable at this casino too. It's like like and it's, it's like we, we don't have like it's like and and you can't use the word religion because it turns people off because religion has been co-opted by a bunch of fucking capitalists. And like but it's like that is the problem that that America infected the whole planet with is just like this because we're so good at like like we were just like oh fuck it like no class systems no kings no no family history fuck it like 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 it's just like money 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 it'll be the biggest it'll be the hotel lobby of the world and everybody can come in and it's just like if you're irish you're a piece of shit until you know how to make something like soap that we can use or lucky charms and then we'll use it <laughs> and then if you're valuable then you can you can be rich and you can be mayor and you can be president and fuck it and it does, nothing matters and it's like the american dream that that's our that 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 that's that, 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 that whether that ever actually existed that was the dream that was the idea it was egalitarianism through capitalism uh, meritocracy yeah but then someone monetized egalitarianism so someone's monetized monetization so, so <laughs> someone said i'll watch the money that'll be my job and i'll pay myself out of the money and then i'll give you interest and someone said hey what if a tornado comes through oh I, i'll sell you insurance uh, what's insurance something you're now required to have if you get pulled over a guy with a gun can ask to see your insurance because if you hit someone it might cost him money well that doesn't seem very fair well why don't you sue me who, what do you mean sue? Well, suing is a new form of law. It means you can just take all of someone's money. Well, who can sue who? Anyone can sue anyone. But if you're more as rich than you someone, you can, you can survive the suing. And if you're poor, you can't. So if you're poor, you can't sue rich people. But if you're rich, you can sue anyone. And if you're rich, you can also get sued and it won't matter. Um, like, like, and so, well, who's going to conduct all this? Lawyers. You have a right to counsel. Uh, how does that work? Well, if you're poor, you get one assigned to you and you're fucked. And if you're rich, you can get one that could, like, you can decapitate a woman with a knife and then walk away. Um, it's like, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm taking that stance. I, th I think OJ done it. I, I, I got, I got a hunch, and I'm just going with it. Um, the, the, uh, the, it's, it's, it's everything. Every problem we have stems from. It's not that capitalism is inherently evil. It's that it was never designed. It was never meant to be unmitigated. I don't think it was ever designed. It just kind of fucking sprang up and was a monster. That's the good thing about it, though. The, the, yeah. the, the reason it sprang up and is useful is because it's not a bad thing by nature. It is a, it's about efficiency. It's about getting more shit done per minute. It's about, it is about, um, it, it does hold an enormous potential to equival, uh, uh, equivalate? What the fuck is the word? To, to, <laughs> To, 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 to what's you say? Equivocate. Equivocate? No, that's when you wishy washed, isn't it? Equivalency? <laughs> Equivocate means like uh, whatever. All right. <laughs> it, do, it, do, it does have an enormous potential to even everybody out, especially in a world where we were, we're, we're like, oh, okay, let divine rate of kings, we're done with that. And now it's just like poker chips. It has to, it, it's all the more necessary, all the more necessary in a world where that is the only thing that's important, that there be another more important thing. It has to be. Otherwise, it's like, how much does this bullet cost and how much is this black kid going to uh, do if, if we, if we if, like, pursue his like, presumption of innocence or we protect him? Like, how much money is that going to cost? Like, like, and, uh, it's like everything gets turned into money and then people actually fucking like, start suffering. Because, uh, uh, and, and we have to like, I don't know, it, 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 it's it's like you can't invent it. You can't just come out with something. But imagine a world where you were like driving down the street and you saw somebody that needed help and you were on your way to a meeting where you had to, where you might make a bunch of money. I know that there's – working backwards from the goal, I know that there's a world where you could stop your car, get out, and be like excited because you haven't seen someone in need in so long that it's like fucking bubble wrap. It's like it's like a thing you get to do that's fun. Like the, and, and, the, and, you, and it's something you get to brag about when you get to the meeting that you have to reschedule. Schedule, or that meeting just became worth less because this opportunity is happening for you. I'm not talking about all of us suddenly becoming good people. I'm talking about the fact that we look at goodness as being this weird thing, like advertising that we have to tolerate or something that we have to force ourselves to do. I'm talking about switching that, where because we we all know that once we're forced to do good shit for other people much like showering we're always happy we did it afterwards <laughs> like like i just are you though don't it's, lie it's just hard to take off your pants and get into a sh fucking cold water that's pelting your asperger skin like i it's it's like uh you don't have asperger's shut up i'm rich i can say whatever i want um see that's the problem um the 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 but the, i know that there's because there's absolutely there, there was like if there was currency to that instead of it it, it, it always feels like 
like like like you were saying, like stupid people incur loss, and rich people in, or, or smart, smart people not gain. People. And yeah. it could be like it, you you don't have to be talking about money. You can talk about like 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 getting upset and all this shit. Like like stupidity is like loss and they and you try like you you like if there was a way to gain in a way that you could measure somehow from helping other people it would be it would turn around so quick because because the market would fucking flood and there wouldn't be so many homeless people that you would have to feel like you were doing nothing and wasting your time and and becoming homeless yourself by helping them that's the fear that's all we that we're not we're not like this we don't want to not care we're we're forcing ourselves we're like emotionally anorexic like we're controlling our fucking spirituality. We're like starving ourselves because we are scared um, and like, like, like th- that if we spend the, the, the time helping somebody that they're going to suck our time and our money away and we're going to become just like them. And, the, and it's like, do, like that. We, so we got to figure out how to flip that system so that it can be a video game. We're never going to we're never going to not be monkeys. We're never going to not want to gain. We just have to figure out how to put a value on that. Shit. China, I, you know, China has been doing that. They started with their this, murder vans. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> You hear about these Chinese murder fans. No, they, 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 they started this game. I don't remember what it's called, but it's it's like Meow Meow Beans. Yeah, the good citizen game or That's some like shit. That's like a cult, man. Well, That's it, fucked up. I mean, it's more like fascism, but okay. Like a fascist um, cult. Well, fascism is like a cult when it's fascist, I think. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I'm just like, it's this game where you, you get points for being a good citizen. And it's like all fun and games, except in five years, it becomes mandatory for all citizens. So everyone's going to be required to be all like, oh, I, you know, I prayed to Mao. That's racist, right? Do they pray to Mao? <laughs> it's a good analogy. Anyway, like, or, or if you're friends with people who say bad stuff about the government, you'll, you'll be docked points. So you got to unfriend your buddies on Facebook when they're taking anti-party lines. And that's, that's like an evil version of what you're talking about. Right. But there could maybe be a game that's more just about like karma points. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. And I, can't, I don't know if it's like actually just instituting points like that or if it is just more like, like, like I don't know. Like just you're talking about points, man. Stop talking about points. We don't need hey, points. Stop, money stop, is stop points. Talking about what people should stop talking <laughs> about. <laughs> no points are the problem, man. You money you is don't literally tip and points. You argue. You love. Ar- you love. Like you love telling people oh. that they're wrong. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Like, just have a conversation. You don't have to just. You don't have to just tell people. I was, you ever talk about movies with a Canadian? It's fucking galling. It's like it's like. Will you take it easy? It's like I I can either like or not like Godzilla, and so can you. Just fucking stop yelling at me. <laughs> Unless you're talking about the Matthew Broderick. One. In that case, they're, that's bad. No, like, universally, I, 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 any this movie, any movie about. can just be liked or not liked. You guys are you have great uh, socialized medicine, but and, you're terrible at talking about. And movies. your Taco Bells have French fries. Sorry. Whereas Americans are obviously our our, our greatest uh, uh, gift is for not generalizing. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think. Well, you're talking about points and like a, like a, a system of rewards or like a. I That's think how the human brain operates. That's why money works. It's I, like like, like I, it's, I, it's dopamine. It's like getting yeah. a fucking like prize. It's getting a jackpot. Getting a fucking like it's winning points. Like lighting something up. Like 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 they have. There, there was this thing on NPR. There was like there was this medicine that helps you uh, get over. Was it Parkinson's or? Get over Parkinson's. Oh. There's medicine that helps you get over Parkinson's. Get Holy over shit! It. Um, no, it's a it was it's a, it's a treatment for some kind of uh, some illness. I can't remember, but it, like it spikes your dopamine so high that they had to they didn't they didn't realize what was happening until a couple people like actually got really fucked up by this. That uh, dopamine. Um, it causes you, it makes you really, really susceptible to gambling addiction. Oh, is, it, oh, is this yeah. the, the multiple sclerosis medicine? It I could think, be. I don't yeah. know. The important thing is the dopamine aspect of it because they found out by this happening. It was like, why are all these people on this medicine becoming like inveterate gamblers? Like they're fucking yeah, like, yeah, losing yeah. their homes. Yeah. And it turns out, and they they did this thing where they're like, oh, it's just fucking like three cherries come up and a little reward comes out. And it's like the, what what happens in your brain is this dopamine spike. And that's why, that's what has driven our entire species because we like we experiment and then we, we we something happens that benefits us and we get a fucking little baby orgasm about it and it like marks it and then we and then so that's how we get addicted to drugs that's how we get it's, it we, we're always chasing that 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 spike and so we, that 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 causes uh racism that causes like, like like our capacity for categorization and solving problems i figured it out all of the people that made me have a bad day yesterday were mexican uh i, I what a reward um I, it's it, it it's 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 bad it's good and bad but it's like it's this powerful engine that we run on so i think like like 
you 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 can write software on top of that machine language uh, that maybe you maybe it's a point system maybe that's bad maybe there's a way to get beyond a point system but the I think the biological fact is that our brains do run on that engine like we do run on run on like figuring out puzzles and getting rewarded oh for totally it. you're you know you're totally right uh it, it, it we're very much like meaning engines we're problem solvers we're, we're uh we we attribute things to points but when, when someone says this is worth a point someone else is going to go how can i make money off that right or how can how can i how can i make two points for every one point i make right right so if you can get rid of that system and instead say well what if i gave away all my points and then i stopped feeling like a piece of shit that would be a better system if it was just like getting rid of stuff made everyone around you feel good, and then as a result of that, you felt better. That's yeah. socialism, motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, I said, if there was a way to create a system by which we could all hit the t- a, a tipping point of understanding that, as in the video games where we have points and then you you spend them on like upgrading things, yeah. that the upgrades weren't just for you. The upgrades were actually your contribution to the society and all that shit. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, I, we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Uh, I hope you do. We 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 we, we better quick. Um, Canada's doing pretty good, so we're waiting for you to catch up. Yeah. I mean, you guys, you guys can't be doing that good, right? <laughs> no, well, our dollar sucks. It sucks being down here right now because like everything costs like a like a buck and a half more. It's, it's it must brutal. be a nightmare to buy magazines in Canada, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, they already man. cost more, and then the dollar is weaker, right? So it's like they gotta cost like twenty five bucks for a fucking people. What? <laughs> You think people buy people? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're the, well, if they're, they wanted they're to. They're the luckiest people of all. Here's my, here's my equivalency. Uh, uh, magic cards cost five bucks a booster pack. That sucks. Did you just try to say <laughs> buster pack? <laughs> what? No. It's a nerd thing. I don't know. But it, everything costs a more. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's thank uh, Prime Minister Adam for, uh, for thank coming Thank you. By. All right. So what do you think? De- Demorge isn't back there, right? Is he? No, no, I think he might be at Sketchfest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> That's a, I know that means you love me. But I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> um, but we should. what we should do is go out in the street and like grab people that we really, really like and just make them be president. That would be the way to do it. Because it's a, just a fucking... It should just be a job that's like like... Like, like it's, it's a civil servant, you know? Like, the country like, runs itself. How fucking, like, like, this idea that you get to be king and get blowjobs. It's fucking... Re- <laughs> I, was, I was about to say retarded, but, but, but I don't want to praise it. <laughs> um, the, uh, okay, so uh, uh, maybe we should, we, should, we should talk about what we learned in the form of a, 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 form of a nice, slow rap. Uh, uh-oh. Wait, you took off your headphones. Does that mean you're... Give me a minute. Okay, he needs a minute. All right. What did you hold up, Levy? A cup. Oh, okay. Are you drinking? He Levy, Levy drink. come out here. Give us a Levy update. Yeah, you need a hype man for your rapping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hype man. Steve Levy. You need a boss tone. We're going to be in uh, Miami uh, next week, so no show here, right? Right next week. Okay, we're gonna be in Miami at at uh, something con. Magic Magic City Magic Con. City, yeah. Magic City Con. It's yeah. it's it, there's cons and there's gates. <laughs> <laughs> the job the, the the objective is to get more cons and less gates. <laughs> Do you ever you ever you ever wonder what would have happened if uh, Watergate had happened at like a uh, Marriott? <laughs> Or uh, Four Seasons, so, and then when there would be the, like if the if a president got caught uh, embezzling, uh, it would be called like embezzle Four Seasons, <laughs> or embezzle Deflate Seasons. Deflate Four Seasons. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff uh, me and uh, Stephen Wright think about <laughs> in 1980. Uh, who's your fa- who's your favorite stand-up, Ria? Oh. That's or or, or who, is it, who is who is who is your big who, who, who is your hero that made you want to be a stand-up? Um, well, honestly, this is going to be so cliche, but Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I watched her I wouldn't when have I was it like any other kid. Way. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect. Isn't it? <laughs> Did you and Tig uh, go and see her a lot? Yeah, yeah. We like <laughs> held hands, watched it. And we're like, this is great, right? <laughs> so, should we take the homobile to Ellen's concert? <laughs> yeah, let's take the homobile. 
<laughs> I actually I remember El, 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 when I was a kid, I was I thought Ellen was very like plucky and fun and funny, mm-hmm. and that was before she became a, a an icon of controversy slash progress slash whatever. Yeah, I mean, um, she was a solid. She is a solid stand up comedian. Yeah, like, she's. Certainly, because her contemporaries, humor, not to throw them too much under the bus, but her contemporaries were Rita Rudner. Um, actually, Paula Poundstone was r- really mm-hmm. funny. Did you, did you ever watch Paula Poundstone's show on HBO? Did you ever see that? I feel like I did. Yeah. I don't know. She just had regular people up, up, up and talk to them. That was a, that was a, a <laughs> she would have like firemen and like dentists and stuff. She yeah. would like, um, <clears throat> uh, um, <clears throat> he's still working on it. Um, you got beats? Oh, shit. Oh, there was one more. Oh, oh go to that. Oh, omaze.com slash Rick and Morty. Is that going to get them there? Uh, yeah, I think there's only like a week left. Maybe. Yeah, there's like you can still buy shit there or just donate $10 and each $10 donation. Justin just made, I think, nine original artworks that you can donate. So there's more stuff to buy. Get. Each $10 gets you a – it's it's for AIDS, which is bad. It's not for AIDS. It's against AIDS. <laughs> um <laughs> It's uh, it it it, it uh, each ten dollars gets you entered into a thing where you uh, you have a chance of being a voice on Rick and Morty, um, you know, you'll, yeah, and and I'll hang out with you too. It'll be, it'll be. Um, yeah. Well, what a night. <laughs> hype him. Get hype. Oh shit, Dan Harmon. I yeah. Fuck. Keep going. Keep it up. Uh, all right. All right, everybody, fucking put your hands together for Dan Harmon. He's going to do a slow rap. What? 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 Slow what? rap. What? Ask him if they're ready for him. Are you, re- are you ready for Dan <laughs> Harmon? <laughs> what? what? Do this sound like you're what? fucking ready. No. Come on. Yeah. Get louder. Yeah. 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 Question their readiness. Question it. Uh, yeah, you don't sound like you're ready. Come on. Get ready. Yo. 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 Coast to coast, left to right. I fucked your mama so hard, she is no longer tight. I took her shoes off and put them on her head. I rolled around with her in bed. We we slept till noon. We woke up and watched Netflix. We had a great time. We ate some Chex Mix. I went downstairs. I got a scared. I heard a sound, there was a sound, somebody was around. I wanted to look like a man, so I went down. I said, nobody's here, but I didn't look around that much. I just wanted your mama to think I did. Truth is, I was scared. Went back up to bed, rolled around, heard another sound instead. Got scared again. Should I call 911? No, don't worry about that. I, my manhood's just begun. I went back downstairs. Looked around again. Looked more around. Opened doors fast and said, I've got a gun. Which wasn't true. But what you're going to do? When you're white in the suburbs and you don't have a gun and somebody might be in your house. Oh shit! Dan Harmon, come on! Come on! You wanna hear that second verse? You wanna fucking hear that second verse? Let's go! Yo, 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 yo. Chuka, chuka, yo, yo. Rhea Butcher controlling like a motherfucker. She's a motherfucker. She's literally a motherfucker. She's able to fuck your mother. Just like me, she's a lesbian bee. The heterosexuality is united with lesbianity because guys fuck women and so do lesbian women. We go swimming with women. We take off their clothes and then we come in. Them. Take them on the beach. Roll around. Oh no, I heard another sound. Went into the woods. Went to the store. Bought some goods and services through capitalism. It's impregnating evil with chism. I fucked your mama with it. I came on her head. I squeezed her tit. 
Oh, you did the yeah, did you do the Run DMC thing where you said tit at the same no, time? No, that was me. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. All right, because I invite that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Independent. Yeah, hit me. <laughs> Stamps. <laughs> All right. Uh, th- thank you very much for coming to Harmontown. Rio Butcher, everybody. Go get married if you're gay. Think it over if you're straight. Uh, donate to AIDS fighting. Uh, watch Mi- out for CISO. We'll be in Miami next week, Magic City Comic Con. Thank you, Chris Baroff, in the, in the uh, booth making the video thing happen. Justin Marshall, Zach, the Audio Maniac, uh, Sarah Delta Theater, Steve Levy, Spencer Crittenden. Thank you, Michael, for your beer and your leg. You are our guest. Did you get any of that? It's a good show. 